Welcome to Emotional Support Water Bottle with Hannah and Ailish. I'm Hannah. And I'm Ailish. And my neighbor is, I don't even know what he's doing, Hannah, but hopefully they can't hear good. it. Nobody, <laughs> nobody They're not getting hear. it. <laughs> and if hopefully. you can, no, you can't. <laughs> 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 got the windows open and it feels good in your house i know we it has been ungodly got, hot it here. has i got so well it was so hot and we had to turn the air conditioning i get so mad because <laughs> i think so, this is an ohio thing <laughs> well and then i'm like i'm so like i don't know if i'm just because i'm getting so old but that's like my bones are like <laughs> can't cancel the cold and then today i was texting my husband and i'm like I'm mad about that. I'm like, it's so cool. And I've been complaining about it ever since we turned it on. Even though it's like it was so hot, we had to have it on. But I was getting so mad. And today I'm like sitting outside stewing on it. And then I'm I'm like, 90 degree weather. Literally, I'm like, I need the warm air. So then I texted him. He said he turned it off because he can do it from his phone or whatever. What do you keep your set at? Well, he oh, does he like it's it so dang, but he works outside. Yeah. So it's like, but then I work in air conditioning all day, like 64 degrees, which sounds like a whiner. To say that. <laughs> but it's just like, it just hurts. Yeah. And I want fresh air. And then it was a little cooler today. So I was like, well, you have good room. fans too. Yeah. Like you have multiple fans. That was the problem because I have an upstairs apartment. So it was <laughs> sweltering. I, I mean, it was literally reading 86 degrees. I know. Degrees. It got, it got bad. And I, I tried <clears throat> to open the windows. I was getting no airflow in there. And I don't have a fan, a ceiling fan in my living room. Right. So it's like I couldn't even get air circulation. So I finally had to turn it on. But I just like, I had to get it down to like 80. Like I don't, mine is so inefficient too because it's just like an older system. And so it runs constantly Mm -hmm. and it drives me nuts, which is like, now we're old. We're talking about our finances how much air conditioning costs <laughs> you're like it's not <laughs> but, yet but it's seriously <laughs> i like, know i hate that i know and it's like if i knew it was consistently going to be you know 95 degrees then it is what it is yeah. but when it's gonna keep dip because i think this weekend was supposed to like cool not be cold but like yeah. cool down and it's like well i don't want the air running the whole time we get- <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, you can obviously turn it off or down right. or whatever, but it's still... And I mean, with you and the boys, though, like, I don't know, does not does your oldest one run a little hot? He does. Yeah. Runs very so, I mean, you don't want them to be uncomfortable. I know. And, like, we have the dogs, too, yeah. so I don't want them to, like, pass away when I'm not from here. the heat. <laughs> when they're in here all day. <laughs> and it's like I did the one day when it got... We finally turned the air on that... I don't remember what night it was, but I had like a extra fan out here too. I'm like, okay, this is getting like, it's hot. It was, it was so hot. I mean, the one, I can't remember if it was Sunday night or Monday. I can't remember when I told you I turned it on, but I was just sitting in my apartment. I'm I'm like, like, (laughs) I can't do this. And then I I went to bed and I had the fan up high and I'm just like, I I can't do this. (laughs) The worst is when the fan is just blowing hot air around. Like, there's no cool breeze. I know. I know. Ugh, I know. But But it just gets so stuffy up in my apartment, too. Like, I can't even breathe. And I actually, I love a dry heat. I love it. Me, too. But, like, when it's just muggy, like, that is the worst. Dense. It's like you literally feel the denseness in the air. Yes, I know. I can't. So that is our uh, weather update. (laughs) (laughs) I saw it out here. I did see there's a ton of tornadoes. I saw that too. Over and over again, like in the plains. Yeah. Like, dang. I am so glad that we don't really live in the tornado alley because I I don't think I'd be able to handle that. I truly don't think I could. It'd be so stressful to me. Yes. And like, um, like where we live, I feel like we almost don't get like we don't get earthquakes yeah really we don't we rarely get tornadoes hurricanes we don't get tsunamis. hurricanes literally yeah. like right where we are and even like this like sometimes it'll snow bad but it has in a few years yeah. really it's like we're in like this little like, bubble of safety 
<laughs> I know. If there's a hurricane, we'll get some rain, <laughs> but it's not. It might make its way up. Yeah. I know. I was it like Hurricane Katrina where it came like all the way up yeah. here and we could like see the clouds are going crazy. insane. I know. Yeah. But I know. I just, the tornadoes, <clears throat> I hate the tornado. Just, I know. And you know that. What's I do that? like exposure therapy for well, myself. But it's fine if you see it. And it's not happening to you. I know. Like, did you see that? What's that movie? Is it Twister? Like the newer one with Glenn Powell? Yeah. Is it just a remake? Or I is think it, it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I saw the preview for that and I was just like, the people who do this, I'm sorry, but you are insane. I know. Like, I, and it's so bizarre too, like the storm chasers when they're like, you know, this like deadly tornadoes coming through and like ripping everything up, but they're just like over here. Yeah. And or like, they're just right in front of it driving. Yeah, and they like, always have a Jeep. Literally. And going like, I mean, I get the adrenaline rush and the thrill of the chase and all that stuff, but it's just so. I know. If I literally <laughs> saw a tornado in real life, I would just like die right I know. on the spot. Like I could not handle it to see it like. <sighs> Yeah, I couldn't and like even. Some of those ones are so like those wedge tornadoes freaking freak me out so bad. And when, you can hardly see I them. I know when they have like a double tornado yeah. too. Or they have the um I can't remember what they call them, but they're like there's a huge tornado and then there's a bunch of tornadoes all around oh, it yeah. happening. What do they call them? Satellites or something. Yeah, that something makes sense. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a no. I mean, mean, it's just terrifying. Like, nature is so terrifying. I know, because we can't control it. No. Allegedly. (laughs) But yeah, it's like we can't control it. Like, it's coming no matter what. Or like the fires. Yeah. It's like we can't do anything. We don't get wildfires either. We don't get nothing. And I'm fine with it. Me too. And we're by like a fresh water. Yeah. So it's gonna be prime real estate as when global warming. Out, <laughs> as global warming is taking out the rest of the earth, we're gonna be freaking sitting on our ten million dollar mansion. Your house will be <laughs> worth like, like a hundred million dollars. Really? Oh my god, that's so funny though. It Who is. knew, little old Ohio? <laughs> <laughs> We're actually the golden state. I know. Yeah. You thought wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, I don't want to get controversial on the pod, but I brought it up after I listened to Juicy Scoop or while I was listening. Wait, are you talking about the one with Dr. Drew? Yeah. That and I, wasn't edgy. What? The vibes? I just have to say, and I snapped off. this to you. I don't know if you oh, I haven't looked listened, yet. But... <clears throat> They were talking about like the COVID yeah. stuff. I, and just to like preface so people know if you haven't listened, Dr. Drew apparently, which I didn't know this at the time, but I guess he was saying. Yeah, I didn't know any of that either. I guess some things like. We were off social media. Yeah, we were fully <laughs> off. At, 2020, at that point. goodbye. <laughs> we were dead to the world. Everybody was. Um, But I guess maybe some like contradicting opinions to the CDC and right. what else was out there. And that made him like mini canceled, I guess. But like I said, I didn't even know this happened. So, but anyway, he was saying how some of the things that he had said have now been come to be <clears throat> true. And I'm listening to this and I just feel like I have a trauma response because I, if the whole thing comes out that it was fake I don't even want to know. Like I just <laughs> no. It's like keep keep so that to yourself. Time. I yeah. know. I I know. I think like because <clears throat> I was thinking too when he started talking about that. I'm like at the end of the day, people the passed away from it. Yeah. Whether it was as bad as they said it was, whether you needed a vaccine or not, and blah blah blah. Whether the masks worked or not, people did still. You know, lose people, and we also lost, yeah, you know, time. Yeah, and it's like it's still a very, it's raw. Yes, it's very sensitive. I think to people, and it, and just how divided people were over yes. it, and how nobody knew it to like it was like eggshells with everything you didn't know. I love those TikToks where it'd be like, so COVID, right? Yeah. Wink. Yeah, like, Masks, right? right. <laughs> and like, like wait to gauge to on somebody's yeah. what they're gonna say. And I it's know. like, but no, it's I just, agree. It's like, 
you know, I don't want to be a full on conspiracy theorist either, but it's just like, I, we, you can say this about so many things. You can look back right. and be like, well, this In was dumb. This was dumb. Right. It, we, yeah, a lot of things were dumb, but you could say that about pretty much anything. I know. Like, and we I didn't know at the time. Right. That's what I, I think pe- at the end of the day, if you want to not believe everyone's evil, I think we were, they were trying to give us information that they felt like was going to help us at that time. Yeah. And then obviously like now but it's a little bit different than what, you know, it was just, it was a whole, it's just so crazy that the entire world went through a well, trauma together. Thing. Yeah. And it is so crazy, but like also with that, the whole world went through this and because of the media, the way it is now, mm-hmm. we, we knew what was happening in Italy with yeah. like all those people freaking were wiped out. We knew right. what was happening in these other countries and all these other states. It's like, so you couldn't escape it and right. something had to be done. Like you had right. to have some kind of a response, right. you know? Because everybody, I know, and like that, I mean, 2020 in general is an insane year, yeah. but it's like we were seeing everything real time, like on TikTok and I stuff. I mean, remember it's like, literally when like DeWine would come on yeah. every, <laughs> it, was, it was like every day yeah, at and like four say. or something. Yeah. And we'd be tuned into our televisions to watch. I mean, that is freaking some apocalyptic stuff It really stuff right was. There. I mean, it it was so... Just absolutely insane. Like, and it was I, just insane. If I didn't have people in my life that were part of the vulnerable population, <clears throat> right. like, the, I might have thought completely differently. Right, and be like, eh, we're fine. Or, you, yeah, and it was like the people that were most vulnerable were the most big risk takers. And that would get, like, frustrating. Yeah. You're like, I'm not going to the grocery store. I'm sanitizing yeah. my groceries for you and you're just going out to the restaurant I but know. even in that it was like don't go anywhere and all these people were losing their jobs like so many people lost so much from covid that saying now like well see it wasn't as bad as what they said it's like but it was still really it's bad like disrespectful hurt. i know like it hurts yeah because i just think you know for like me personally, it's like those were years of my life, prime years of my life, <laughs> where like I could have been out doing things, right. meeting people, whatever. I couldn't do that. I know. And Even, it's like we'll never know yeah, what could have been. Yeah. And like, like career opportunities, right. like who knows where I could have been in that. Like I might have not even like during COVID, I went to grad school right like I might not have done that right COVID not happened like I could be in a completely different career right right now and that is weird to think about it is it it is so weird to think about just everything that could or even the stuff that like because there was I don't want to say good that came out of stuff but there was like a lot more like self-reflecting and stuff that was happening too so it we would all be like at I don't know, like a different place yeah. emotionally. And it's, and yeah, I think <clears throat> a positive is that a lot of talk was brought up about mental health. Right. And like we didn't really have that as much before. Right. But it, I just felt like, you know, I, I believe that some of the things that were put out there, some of the restrictions and stuff were just like, you know, kind of throw away. Like we right. have to do something. It was no, just it's like, everyone's freaking out. Let's just tell yeah. them this will help. Right. Like I believe that. Right. But I almost like, I don't need you to tell me. I know at this point, And it's like, and like we said, there was still loss. Right. Whether, you know, it should have happened or not, but it was like, yeah. Like, I just feel like we shouldn't even talk about it you know anymore. I mean? no, like, I just know. don't even talk about it. <laughs> and agree. even the one thing that they brought up was about school too, how we yeah. close schools down. I mean, yeah, that is a crazy thing to do. It literally is so crazy. But at the time, it was when, like, how these could kids... you have the kids going to school when we're telling everybody to it's social like, distance? When parents can't even go to work. Yeah. And like the kid in a public school, how would they do that? Right. And then they're school. like, oh, these kids are going to come on, on Tuesdays. These days, so I know. Like it was just absolute mayhem. And it just like, and I think, you know, we, 
the seniors that didn't get to grad yeah, or they graduated. Upsetting. But I know. And like they missed out on so much people that were in the midst of college. Like, like my or, one friend was yeah. getting married and she had yeah. to move her wedding. Like we, she was supposed to get married in April. And then that obviously got all shut down. And then it got rescheduled to, I think it was July. It was like that we, yeah. random time where it was like, oh, things are okay. <clears throat> And then we were able to have the wedding right. and then it ramped up again. Right. Like, I just, I feel I like to listen to somebody just say, like, this was all a farce. And yeah. all this. Like, I can't even <laughs> listen to I it. Like, like, I really I can't, can't. go there. I know. Or even like... um people who are having babies it was yeah. like dads couldn't even be in the room right. for some people even when i had my because se- my first well it ended up being like a season and uh, not everyone could be in there yeah. but everyone was there our parents were there yeah. like i had all this support and then when i had my second even which was in t- t- 2022 um i could only have two guests and one guest or the dad didn't count it as a guest and it's like who? What? Who do I bring? I know. It's like, and I remember telling like my mother-in-law, I'm like, I'm sorry. I thought that I could have two guests and not my In husband being one. To, yeah. yeah. My husband, sorry, you can't come now. Yeah. Like, it's I like mean, crazy. Ouch. Yeah. I it's like, I'm sorry. I mean, she understood, but it was but like. The, yeah. The first time we were all there, like everybody your grandparents could come. were there. Yeah. yeah. It's like none, none of that's, a, I didn't have that this time, which it was like. I don't know. It's just two different experiences, but right <coughs> anyway. for multiple reasons. You were right. more coherent <laughs> the second time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just it's yeah. Just totally... It's just like we were all traumatized from yeah. this. So if you were right, like I don't <laughs> care. I'm I know. sorry. Like good for you. And I wish if I wish had they had that conversation been like just made it about being canceled yeah. or even saying like I was going against the grain. Yeah. Or just that could have been a fine conversation right. or even <clears throat> just saying like, what a crazy time in our lives this was. Right. And if they were just saying, well, it was, you know, Dr. Drew, if he was just like, yeah, like some of the things that I was speaking up about ended up being true. Like, I don't think I would care about right. that, but the way that it kind of was I know the way it was about, like going like, and then uh, they started talking about when she fainted and yeah, stuff. I'm like, with the vaccine. I know, it's I'm like, like, that's, oh, okay. let's just not do it. Yeah, I just can't Not go that there. you can't talk about it. Yeah, you can talk it's about just it. Like, it's uh, just, it's just like, at, let's for still me, be sensitive. Yeah, and for me now, it's not like I'm a, f- I'm not like fully like offended that right. you're talking about it. It's just like it hurts a little bit. Right. Because but had I had we had lost somebody during that yeah, time or for sure were insanely sick ourselves. I mean, when I had it, I lost my smell yeah, and my did. taste. Yeah. And I some stuff still doesn't taste right. So it's like it. I mean, I don't know if I mean that big, but right. I mean, it did That's like a, a physical thing. Yeah. yeah. But. I don't think I ever had it. Um, (laughs) I mean, I feel like we all probably did. I know it's hard or like had it when we nobody was saying it was. But like not to go on and on about this too, because people want to listen to us talk about. But wasn't it so bizarre though the different variants and how you could be a carrier but not have symptoms? I know, and again, and it's like that stuff they were still working through, so maybe that wasn't the case. But it was almost it was like that kind of stuff is really fascinating. It is, I know, and just like. Obviously, we don't want another pandemic. Because every once in a while, you'll see like that headliney, like yeah. pandemic or whatever coming through. And it's then like, I'm like, uh, don't, don't, don't use go that there. <laughs> That's too strong. Yeah. That is too strong. Yeah, it was just, that was a hot, hot take. I couldn't believe that they I were know. going on about that. I know. That. Again, conversation could have been different, but still having that and conversation. And also, it's almost too soon. Yeah. You know, I mean, I feel like if 12 if, years, if she <laughs> could handle it. Yeah. Like if it was 10 years in the future, right. 10 years post, I think I, it would be like, okay, but yeah, I mean, it, we're not that far <laughs> away from it now. And it's just, and just the pure isolation that we felt like that was a dark time. It really was. It, it truly 
I know. And We're just like, don't belittle that, you know? Right, that's what I'm I know. Just like, yeah, that's why I'm like, it still was something that was, whether you lost somebody or didn't lose somebody, it was still a very traumatized. I mean, so many people lost their jobs. It was just... yeah. People lost their minds. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us didn't no. get that back. Like, <laughs> still suffering. Yeah. Um, that was a weird podcast, though. The whole thing. Yeah. It was yeah. like they were like fighting, but then not fighting. And I felt like Heather was be- not. I'm not defending him or taking his side. There's yeah. no side, but he- she would like get really defensive. Yeah. About like when he was stuff. like that part where he was like, that was oh man that just sounds tiring like the reality tv oh, and she's yeah. like are you bored like yeah. i was like i think he just meant to be a person on reality tv well, and he doesn't really watch it so that's right. what's like frust- well i don't want to say it's frustrating because i get like this is what she does it's right her. so you have guests on and you talk about this stuff but when a guest doesn't watch the show or really know what's going on right. it's so hard it's hard for me to even like, I still listen, but it's kind of hard to listen to sometimes. It can be. Like, there was one thing I can't remember exactly. I think it was something about Lala, and I had a different opinion than him. And so I was, like, mad because right. I he doesn't watch. He right. doesn't know this whole I know, thing. I know. He definitely was saying a couple of things like, no, that was production. They were, li- like, when he was talking about Ariana and Tom oh, living together. Oh, that's what from, it was. Um, and then she's like, no, I don't think this was. Well, it sound- and it does sound like it, but if you're if you're not watching the show. Yeah. You know, and that's like, I don't know. Hold on, there, was, buddy. I know the whole thing you was need just to slow awkward. Down. I know. And he's like, "Well, Tom, you know," and he only had the experience with Tom, and he yeah. didn't really understand the full thing. Which well, that's is, what I get. Like, and for him, I don't know what his actual degree is in, because you know how sometimes it's like yeah, doctor, it's like, or whatever. But I are you really? He, I thought I saw something where it was like and never mind I don't want like, to speak I thought it. it was there in is like, like psychology or something like that but anyway he <laughs> um because he had the connection with Sandoval through the special forces yeah and then he had done that interview with him which I didn't listen to but no. um he's talking about the situation and blah 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 and I was just like Okay, but you didn't talk to Ariana. I like, know you it was still very are hearing one side. I know it's like, well, yeah, he is gonna make it sound as yeah. I you know that was like, and I was just as somebody who is in the mental health field, mm-hmm. I was just like, really, you're just gonna just take guy. what he says at face value without right. knowing both. Well, sides? he used to do that kind of stuff on uh, Teen Mom, those Teen Mom reunions. Oh yeah, I forgot that he used to be involved with I those. Know, that's the and only celebrity way rehab. rehab. Yep. I know, and I'd get kind of like annoyed. Yeah, with him. and even when I was still watching the clips, because. MTV, I don't even know if MTV still does that, but they used to put the clips up all the time or make yeah. compilations. And then I'd be in the comments and people would get annoyed by that too. But it was like... Well, he... I mean, I get that when you're on reality TV, especially in those types of situations, right. I get that you kind of have to be a little divisive to keep things going and mm-hmm. whatever. But when you're on a podcast now and you're away from that, let's just... <laughs> Let's stop. Right. <laughs> like, we don't need you to produce this. No. Just be a person and tell us your real feelings right. and whatever. But, yeah, it was an interesting one. I, I listened to every episode of Juicy Scoop, but that was a toughie. I know. There's been a couple in there that have been tough. Mm-hmm. Or they were, if they're, like, a little tough, it'll get back on track. Yeah. And but then this she, one was weird the whole I know. time. And she kind of kept, like, interrupting. <laughs> no. Well, she does have a I tendency know. to do I know, that. but it was extra aggressive today. I don't know. It was just weird. Episode. But then they're also friends. Yeah, which was so, confusing. Like they vacation together. Yeah, like they they're like good are buddies. legitimate friends. So that dynamic Maybe they were was just a little different too. Mood. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, did you see that they put out the cast for Beverly Hills? No. So confirmed. Kyle, Garcelle, Erica, Dorit, Sutton all coming back. I know. It's like, wah, wah. And then new person, and I'm sorry if I'm not saying this woman's name right, Bozoma St. John. Well, maybe I, I did hear something about that. Actually. I don't know. 
I don't no. know who she is. Just I looked her name. up on Instagram. Um, she's an African American advocate and influencer. I guess I would say it looks like she. Um, I think her bio said like African diplomat, maybe. Is which she I don't know exactly a what that means. Married woman. I couldn't tell. Looks like she has a daughter who is maybe teenage or early twenties. But I just did a quick scan through her Instagram and I didn't see anything with a husband or a partner. Um, so I would say no, but I'm not 100 percent. Um, she's pretty. She seems like a strong woman. I don't I haven't listened to any interviews, so I don't know. I wonder how she'll if she's got any, or maybe they'll just make it up. Like, oh yeah, we used to lunch together yeah. twenty four years ago. And like, not to be the typical like white person, but like, I wonder if she and Garcelle are actually like friends, or if they're gonna just be like white Bravo and be like, oh, the two black yeah. people are connected. <laughs> you know, friends, which right. like, judging by her Instagram and seeing that she is very involved, mm-hmm. I would think that if she's in the Beverly Hills area that she probably does no know Garcelle. Right. But, um, and then friends of officially are Kathy Hilton and Jennifer Tilly, which I thought Jennifer Tilly was really random. <laughs> I forgot she was on this last season. Now, okay, I know... Sutton's best friend. Yeah, we'll put that one in quotes. Um, I know that it's called Real Housewives and you don't have to be, you know, married to be on this. But, like, Beverly Hills is basically all, all single, single women. women. Except for, well, I mean, Dorit is still... Dorit and Kathy, yeah. but like Dorit's separated right now. Like everybody else, and I don't know about the new Bazoma, but it's all single women. Right. That's just interesting. They're not wives. <laughs> and I wonder if since mm. this season, I mean, I don't know. Everybody in the comments is like snooze fest, bring back <laughs> Crystal, which I find odd because it's not that I didn't like Crystal as a person she just brought nothing to the show so I don't know if you're saying this cast is a snooze fest like Crystal didn't spice it up but um I wonder if since now like Kyle is officially separated if uh it's gonna be a little bit more like fun single ladies I don't know could be and we also haven't heard like anything about Morgan Wade in a while. No, we haven't. It must not be benefiting her to talk <laughs> about it anymore. <laughs> That's true. Lord. I just thought about that. I'm like, wait a second. Where? I actually where really haven't heard much about Kyle in general. No, I haven't heard much about Mauricio and how that's all going. I don't care all that much. No offense, but. I don't know. I just that was released today. I thought it was kind of interesting. And usually we hear some type of rumors about who's being added to the cast. I didn't hear anything about this new cast member. Mm -hmm. Like we had heard um, who was thrown out there. Camille was thrown out there. But yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. (laughs) Uh, And as we are recording something about her officially opened today yeah and we're waiting we believe it might happen that katie and ariana are gonna ship us sandwiches (laughs) right overnight them (laughs) so we can try them i was trying to zoom in on the pictures to see what kind of chips they had but i couldn't read it I must see some way better brand than, than what we have in get. the Midwest. Yeah. Their sandwiches, the one time, I think it was maybe a week ago when Katie posted the mm-hmm. um, menu and I was zooming in and they sound great. I know. Like, I love sandwiches and mm-hmm. just having like a different kind. You're like, oh, so good. Um, our one friend, the Connection Queen, she was at the opening yeah, I saw her. I didn't get to watch it, the but whole I thing, saw. Yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, she got a picture with Katie and Ariana. I'm like, jealous. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, seriously, Katie, Ariana, if you want, like, we'll cover the shipping costs. <laughs> no problem. Um, just overnight it to Ohio. <laughs> Just like a variety box. There we go. Listen, they can ship like the cookie dough that we get That's from Joe and other things. So why not? The <laughs> why not a soggy sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> or they could maybe not put like the tomatoes and hmm. sauce on so we could do that ourselves. Yeah, put that on the side. So then it feels more artisanal that way. Right. You know? <laughs> right. It would be fun to, like, I wish that's what annoys me about where we are because we talk about so many things that are in, like, the Los Angeles area, Hollywood area, or even, like, New York, and it's, like, it's not attainable for us. If that was, like, an hour away, we would go, you know? Probably not right. opening day, <laughs> but we would go. Right. Although we say that about MGK's coffee shop, and we yeah. still haven't <laughs> Which is, in fact, an hour away. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we're not that right. reliable when it comes to that stuff. But anyway, it looks really cute. I hope the only thing, not to be critical, but you know how like when Subway first started and they're not to compare them to Subway, but purely just sandwich to sandwich, you know, I felt like things were made with more care mm -hmm. and now you definitely wouldn't say that about Subway. I know I haven't been there in so long, but like sometimes when I see somebody like post something about their like deflated sandwich, yeah. I'm like, where's the love? Those I things know. used to be like beautiful. Yes. Carefully made. Mm -hmm. Like, and I remember, I think it was, uh, it was a couple years ago and I was craving Subway mm -hmm. so bad for no reason at all. And it was the, it's the experience. It's yeah. the sandwich with the baked Lay's oh, and the yes. like lemonade and then the or cookie. the iced tea mix. Yeah. Yes. It's like the whole experience. Those baked Lay's are good. But then when I got it, I was heartily disappointed. I, it didn't taste as good as I remember. I know. I'm like, at all? I want the, the banana. It's like all the stuff that you wouldn't oh, yeah, the put, banana on the, peppers. <laughs> put on. Yeah, the banana peppers. And then sandwich. sometimes at work, they'll get us Subway for, I mean, this is like once in a blue moon, for meetings and stuff. And I'll get a salad, but I'll order like a specific salad, like a spinach salad with chicken or whatever. And then Subway, if you literally don't tell them this is exactly what I want on the right. salad, they put everything. Oh. And I'm thinking this is probably just the location that is nearest to my work. Uh -huh. That maybe they're not. But you order like a specific salad where it already comes with like whatever vegetables and stuff mm -hmm. disregarded. If you don't specifically check on the <laughs> online order what you it. want, they will just put everything. So twice I got a ton of pickles on my salad, which I love pickles. So I just right. ate them. But I don't want that on my Is salad. That how I wouldn't have thought to put pickles on Yeah. Myself. And then I had a bunch of olives and I don't like olives. So then I had to pick all those off. And it was an excessive amount, too. It's like, like geez, so why is this happening? <laughs> Who would think to put pickles on a salad? Like, I know. Why I, would you do that? Those little dangly <laughs> flabbies. That is interesting. Yeah, I haven't been there. And I don't even know. I definitely wouldn't choose to go there. And I don't, I'm not saying that something about her will end up like that because obviously Subway's a huge chain and right. they're smaller. But, you know, they have these super cute, beautiful, carefully wrapped right. sandwiches right now. I just hope that the quality stays because right. that would be disappointing. Or if they're like super busy or something and it's like more rushed when they're making them or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah, that is interesting. And I wonder how often they'll be there themselves. I'm going to guess never. <laughs> but I mean, it's hard for like somebody like maybe when if they're like officially not on the show and like the fame dies yeah. down a little bit because it's like people are going to go in there and harass you. Right. Want pictures. It's like it's just you're not going to be able to work. I could see Katie going there more. Yeah. But Ariana, you know, she's doing that second leg. In uh, Chicago. 
Mm -hmm. So she's going to be gone for like, that's pretty much all of August. And then she'll probably move up there earlier to prepare and stuff. So, and then we don't know when they're going to start filming again. Never. Hopefully. Well, then she's going to be doing the Love Island. Love Island too. So her summer's basically shot. I know. She will not be at the sandwich shop. I do wonder, not to dive into VPR right now, but just thinking about filming and what Dr. Drew was saying on Juicy Scoop, and he's like, there must be something like ratings, whatever. And I was getting really frustrated with that about why yeah, there's a delay. Like, I'm like, it literally... Not ratings. <laughs> yeah, it we literally... We don't know what it is exactly, but it's not ratings. No, and there's a lot of things aligning. Like this episode or this season was kind of a disaster when you yeah. look back on it. They were it's not horrible. ready to film <laughs> no. at all. And then Ariana has this stuff coming up with Love Island. Lala's going to have her baby. Like I truly don't think it's an opportune time for them to film right. so i don't know what that annoyed me i'm like you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> stop it's not a rating it is in but he did bring up the point like it is crazy that they like because everything on bravo is so scheduled yeah i know to keep it in this thing and the fact that they're like okay we're not gonna film these people it is kind of interesting though because when you think about the schedule of the show and it's like okay we get to see these birthdays and these right. holidays and you know whatever with any any franchise it's like to to kind of step outside of that a little bit and you know, mix it, it up nice. is it could I make know, it's for like, a better they, season yeah, what are they doing for thanksgiving yeah we what do they do know. for christmas know, we, yeah like that's kind of fun to i know and i guess kind of like you know, if you film something during Christmas and then you put it out in summer, it is weird versus yeah. like summer, you know, in the Christmas time, there's just no holiday really. Like that makes sense to me. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. But what are you going to do? I mean, right. it's hard to even escape that unless right. you just air it a full year right. later. And then that's annoying as a viewer too because right. and especially the way things are now with social media there's no way that we would keep mm-hmm. things a secret for a <laughs> yes. full year so yeah it'll just be interesting to see when and if they pick up the cameras again like what time of year will that even be right and is there kind of a cutoff time almost that like well if we don't pick them up by this but date then it won't then be able to can't. air until yeah. blah 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 right yeah that'll be interesting but definitely need a break from the nonsense. I know I it almost I was just thinking about that today because I was thinking about watching Jersey and I haven't and not necessarily so we can like talk about it but just because I haven't watched it in a while and after this season of Vanderpump, I just feel like I really need a little break. And I know. I was watch I've been watching Summer House and like that show is just so fun and refreshing. Right. And I wish that that was going on longer, but like we're getting close to the end of that too. And I feel like I'm just going to need a little breather from some reality TV for a I sec. Know. I know. Especially because it's been so frustrating. But, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just going to change the subject for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on vacation in June. Yeah. And Wait, when are you going? The... <laughs> because I'm going on vacation too. The 8th? Okay, so we're going to be gone at the same time. Oh, that kind of works out. I know. Maybe we could do a Skype episode. <gasps> oh, my God. In our locations. Yeah, the 8th through the 15th. Okay, so I'm gone the 2nd through the 20th. So that's kind of yeah, great. Yeah, like in the middle, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll, we'll have to talk logistics. That's too far away. But that would actually be kind, kind of, of fun, fun to I do. Know. And it wouldn't be like a full, long form episode right. like we did. Typically well, it do. depends on what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I need a vent, <laughs> but um, 
we my mom is also has decided to go on vacation that week too so wait with no oh no, sorry <laughs> no that's not what I'm i at. was gonna say <laughs> like, oh. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> no not not like that <laughs> she's gonna be down the road um but so we don't have anyone to watch the dogs so we got on that i think it was rover oh yeah so we have something set up. <laughs> are they going to come here? Or? No, we're, the dogs are going there. And I just like, I'm not like that. I just don't want my dogs to be a pain. Yeah. And so we're like filling out our dog's profiles. We're like, and he doesn't like this. <laughs> and she doesn't like loud noises, but specifically like fireworks. <laughs> like Just like the dramatic. But then everybody who watches our dogs say they literally just lay there and don't do yeah. anything because they're in the deep depression. Right. <laughs> but we like put on them. We're like, they're almost never away from us. <laughs> they're with someone. They are extremely <laughs> attached. <laughs> they need to cuddle. We I think we even put that for the little one. They're like, he just wants to cuddle. And then we're like, it's not that they don't like other dogs, but they don't want to play with other yeah. dogs. It's not that they don't like kids. They just don't want to play with the kids. <laughs> it's like all this stuff. And I think we kind of made the girl a little bit nervous because she's asked a couple questions. And I'm like, do you think it's going to back out? Like, <laughs> Did you meet her? <clears throat> no. Are you going this to? This is pretty like blind going wow. in. She's in the town that you live in. Oh, okay. So I'm like I'm like if anything happens and then someone's watching, like a relative is watching my mom and stepdad's dogs. So if any if there's a situation we can get the dogs over, over there. there. Um does she have other pets? She has a cat. Okay. Which our dogs have been around a yeah, cat before. Be and that's what we told her. We're like we haven't gotten a cat since, yeah. so we don't know. And then she has two kids, but she said she's basically home 24/7. With the little one, you're like he loves to cuddle but don't touch him. <laughs> I know, he... like he wants this. He doesn't <laughs> like that. <laughs> they free feed. I thought it was like I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I'm just like, I hope she doesn't back out. If yeah. she does, then we'll have to probably have that girl watch our dogs too. That's watching my parents. Yeah, dog, but I mean, they're not. He, I know the little the, one is definitely more yeah, high I mean, I The only reason why Winnie is like. I wouldn't even say high maintenance, but because she just wants attention. Like yeah. she wants the love. I know. And she's like, just, I don't even know. But I felt like we were like saying too many bad things about the dogs. And then <laughs> I think we were making her nervous. Like when she's like, I was reading more about this. And then she's like, how are they with kids? I'm like, well, they're around kids. They just don't want to, <laughs> like they live with Yeah. Two. They don't want to play. And she's like, okay, I can, you know, I'll just have my son not really bother them or whatever. And like Winnie is would be like fine like she likes fetch and right stuff. like she wants to play she just is like <laughs> she's just she doesn't fully understand the know. like oh now i'm gonna give it back to I you know. yeah but and some definitely not <laughs> but then it because this other lady who's watched her dogs before she's like i love them i had so much fun but her um like a relative of hers is sick so she's like oh, i can't she couldn't but i would have loved to have her watch them but she said they're so good i'm like oh, wait are you just saying that yeah because like who's you know, dogs and then she even took because my mom knows her she even told her she's like it, i'm really so sorry she's really sick it's not because Aww. the dogs were bad and oh i'm lying God. i'm like <sighs> so that should be interesting maybe just when they're outside of their environment yeah. they act totally, totally different. different once they've accepted yeah <laughs> so that'll be interesting i'm also like i know we've been kind of like talking about like our body image a yeah little bit, and i'm like i'm really <laughs> yeah, the, like depressing things i've said you know? <laughs> well even i'm like literally i'm like okay i've been looking for like the perfect swimsuit cover up yeah because and it's like when we go the weather might not even be like that nice, nice. yeah so i'm like i don't want to overthink this so bad and i'm like i cannot let this ruin my vacation i know you know how you get like when you're like yes. i'm so ugly absolutely I can't, it's like i cannot let this ruin my vacation i know and then i'm like okay so what if i get because they had like that little like you want to call it that see-through oh, bathing yeah. suit but they had like little shorts and i was like well that might be kind of nice to just like slide up over yeah. like my swimsuit 
but it's like I just am like still looking for the perfect like cover up. You know, you did you see those um like the kind of like I guess I don't know if you would say like a macrame. It's not really macrame, but the like meshed yes, like, dresses. Like the, yes, and I keep looking at them. I think those are cute. I because think they they're are not too, but too revealing right and it's like you won't be too hot mm-hmm. but i feel like if it's not that right because i was like because i was looking on amazon a little bit yeah and then i'd go to like the people who the the saints that post pictures know, in their right? reviews, and i'm like oh yeah i don't know if i like that because i'm all i'm picturing is like lumpy skin underneath this like mesh and that but then sometimes it's like sometimes it's like i have the worst self-esteem but then i'll be like oh i'll look better than her <laughs> you know what i mean i'm like oh it's not gonna look yeah, like that on me yeah. <laughs> it's like those weird thing i know so i keep like looking and i'm like but i kind of want to actually like maybe go to target even and just like they try some on stuff. yeah i haven't looked because i really don't need to purchase any more bathing suits because like i don't even go to the beach and i bought <laughs> I um american eagle was having a sale mm-hmm. and then my one friend was like they're having a sale and then the three of us ended up buying like the same one in a different color right but the weird thing about this this one from american eagle like it was the cheeky bottoms, which I don't, that's fine. But it's really cheeky because <laughs> the back doesn't have the elastic seam. Mm. So it's just like free slow, flowing back slow there. It's around. Yeah. Which like for me isn't really a big deal because I don't really have much of a butt. <laughs> but for like my friend, she's like, yeah, it was basically a thong right. I'm like well I didn't have that problem <laughs> but it's just like I put that on and I had two different sizes and I tried them on and I just like hated myself like this is the worst freaking time we're just not meant to be viewed like that I don't think. I know but then you see other people Who and it's like stunning yeah and it's like oh okay <laughs> and I'm like are they editing it because and then I know, you, I'm like, this can't be real. <laughs> That's not your body. Yeah. Like, why does that look normal on you and on me? It looks like freaky. I know. And I just can't. And like, I have been going to the gym more just because I, I mean, it does make me feel good to go to the gym. Right. And it's not, I'm not even doing anything that crazy when I'm there. But it's just like, it feels good to be active. And I feel like now that I'm 31, I can't I need afford to, to be just, couch potato. Yeah, like I need to take care of myself better than I have in the past. Oh, that's weird. You're 31 because I'm still 30. <laughs> Oops. I mean, um, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I made a mistake. Uh, take it back. Edit it out. Um, but yeah, it's just like I like doing that, but then I feel like I should be seeing extreme results. I know, like I ain't got which doesn't make sense. <laughs> I know. For Brooke, you know, I'm obsessed with Brooke Schofield. Yeah. She literally started working out and just got so freaking skinny. And she's like, isn't that crazy? She's like, I don't know, it's genetics. She's literally like instant you're like slim down how oh my god nice. yeah i know i hate that but then i sent you to like oh i meant to tell you to look up the summer house um reunion looks because i know you're not watching but i just wanted your opinion on that i'm in the zeitgeist yeah of some of them but Lindsay, who clearly is on ozempic no hate to that but on this season like she looked normal like she didn't look bad at right. all but like she even said on the season that she had wanted to like work out a bit more right. to lose weight for the wedding and then post season um obviously she and carl did not She's go through that with the wedding pod. yeah so in the after show it's like kind of jarring like how thin she is and clearly it's ozempic because it's been such a short time and there's that ozempic look you yeah know? like the no muscle yeah and then she got a little maybe extra filler in her Mm -hmm. lips and the picture of her on the reunion like i i'm not saying that she looks bad but i genuinely like did not recognize her whoa yeah and i just feel like we need to stop 
normalizing all this stuff with Ozempic. Like the people who need to be on it, I think that it's wonderful that you can take right. that or like jumpstart your weight loss journey. But for people who only need to lose like 10 pounds or maybe mm-hmm. tone it's like stop because you now are looking ill but mm-hmm. like we're saying they, you look great i and know it, some people i mean they've gotten like these influencers and i'm not saying they're all on something but they are so thin yeah like thin. it's like And then I'm like, they even have small bones. I know. It's because I feel, I mean, I have always felt like this. If I like stopped eating, I don't think I would even be. I don't don't think I would ever get that. Like my bones are not like my rib cage. Yeah, my rib cage. Yeah, Yeah. like I don't have a small waist. No. Never have. Like it's always rib cages but if we were on ozempic then it'd just be skin over (laughs) bone and it would be thinner in clothes it might look bad without clothes but but with it it, who cares yeah i just feel like that is really messing with me too because that we see so much of that with just particularly particularly the ozempic where people are Mm -hmm. losing a lot of weight fast yeah and it's really just throwing me a little bit because I already I hate myself and now this makes it even better. Better worse. I'm a big old co- I know in it or even just like the other day I don't even know what it was if it was I can't remember if it was like underwear or a sports bra or something and my husband was like this is a large it's not even big <laughs> like what in You're the like, world stop. I know. He's like, how is this so large? I'm like, yeah. What do you think that does to my head? Yeah. You know? It's like- I know. I know. It's seriously. And I mean, we don't need to go down this rabbit hole because it seriously is a rabbit hole. But it doesn't help when different brands have completely different sizes. And it's like, well, in one brand, I'm a medium. In another brand, I'm a large. In another brand, I'm a small. <laughs> like, it really. I know. Or like, I know. And then if you're like looking at a pair of pants, you're like, okay, that should fit me. And you're like. Why is this not funny? Yeah, and then it makes Why? you want to die. Because, I know you're like, oh, yeah. I can't get any bigger. I but know. But then you'll like, but then sometimes I'll like look at like size, whatever mine is, outfits, and they, in my head, they look bigger than me. Yeah. And it's like, maybe they aren't. Bigger. I just, or maybe think- they literally aren't bigger than me, but they're, I don't even know what it is. I just think that we have no concept of what we actually look like. Like, I I certainly do not. Right. I know. And then my husband would be like, we're not seeing, I don't see, where we don't see the same things when we look or like when he looks at me versus I look at me and I'm like, that's well, not gonna the same. T- right. And it's like, you can't tell me that. Of course you're going to tell you're, what are you going to say? I'm a big old uggo. Yeah. Like, like, you're not going to say that. That's not going to end well. Right. Like, of course he's not- going to say you're so beautiful. No, you like, don't have me. to like, <laughs> it doesn't go- or like my mom. I'm like, <sighs> I literally Shut with up. my dad. Sometimes I'll, I'll just be like, this is, do I look fat? Or like, right. just tell me for real. Just tell me for real. Does and he even ever? if he, I wouldn't believe him if he said one way or the other. I know my mom would do that too. I'm like, can you see? I mean, it's just so like. It's so, I, I know. know. I'm like, you just tell me what I want to hear because you're afraid of the consequences. I think a little bit more honest and e- with like, even if he doesn't say it, like I can, you can with tell. his reaction. Yeah. yeah. But like, I remember for a while there, I was so like psychotic about cellulite on my thighs and I'd be like walking in front of him or whoever and be like if you see the on the back of my thigh. no I literally have never gotten over Kim or Sultan saying that Kim Kardashian's butt looked like cottage cheese in a trash bag like I've never every time I think I'm seeing my cellulite yeah. through something I'm like cottage cheese in a trash bag cottage cheese in a trash bag like ouch <laughs> and sometimes I'm so like you know just bringing up Paris Hilton she is so naturally thin and yes. no shape to her whatsoever and sometimes I'm like wow like that is so stupid Stunning, like just she's flat everywhere. (laughs) But then on myself, like I'll look at 
you know, the worst thing you can ever do is look at yourself from the back. Oh. And then you do I've that just... and you're like, oh. <laughs> I've sworn off that. My back is not my business. I don't even want to see the back of my head. I know. I literally like when you look and see like your butt and your legs, it's like, oh my God. (laughs) I know it's horrifying. It's like, why is it so wide? I know. (laughs) Like, what is going on back there? Like, it is terrifying. I know. And then other girls, it's like this little waist. I know. Perfectly. I know. It's like, I'm just going to think of my head forever that they had work done. But it's like, even when I think, think that i'm like well they clearly have work done it's like that doesn't make me feel no it better. doesn't it makes like then i want worse. the work done <laughs> why can't i have work done i know so swimsuit season mm, is right around the corner yeah I hope you all oh, and then you see shape. those tiktoks it'll be like if you start now you'll be all toned and ready by july 4th i'm like, I'm like who yes. are you kidding <laughs> know, maybe for you who are you kidding or like um but you, but then it's like when i see a girl like a girl will post like a tiktok and she's like showing like cuz zooms in on her face and i see her pores mm-hmm. or like peach fuzz or like hair here and there and everywhere and she's not super skinny i'm like she's so beautiful i know so like real yeah Yeah. and like gorgeous and everything but it's like uh -uh. i don't want that for (laughs) myself no yeah i know i just we're warped we're so (laughs) warped it's the grown up in the mid and early 2000s i know it did a number on us it really did but I'm going to try not to let it ruin my vacation and I'm just going to. It's just so hard, though, because even when somebody says like, oh, you look so good. Yeah. And if you're in like a bathing suit, like I can't even take it. Like I, I cannot I'm like, take don't it. Lie. Just don't com- don't I comment know. on me. And I just like if I'm on the beach or something like I know the lighting is horrible and I'm I just know. like, I don't look good. Don't <laughs> don't no, no, don't. <laughs> I know it it truly is just so just awful or like even when people make like a weird comment like like right after I had um my second I had well I still had like the belly binder Mm -hmm. on and they're like oh you don't even look like you have had a baby I'm like because I have a belly binder on like, it. What is that just supposed to mean? I know. You're like, as opposed to Did you to think what? I looked like this before? Oh, no, literally. oh thanks. I was this fat. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I don't want to use the F word. But... I know. It's just, it's no, not it even is. really a compliment. Like, no, there, it really is. Thing. There's literally nothing that anybody no, can No, it's say. like you can't say, oh, you don't look like you had two kids. Or you don't look like you just had a baby. It's like, well, what is just looking like you had a baby yeah. supposed to look like? Or like, it's just. You weren't going to tell me if I looked bad. I know. So. Although people did have no problem telling me how big I was when I was pregnant. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Anywho, that's neither here nor there. That's what happens to anybody who gains like a ton of weight, though. Yeah. It's like people just feel like they have Good free, free reign to, to say. say stuff. Or oh, even, you are that baby's eating good, you know, whatever, <laughs> like stupid you're stuff. You're gonna pop. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I can't get possibly get fatter than I am. Like, <laughs> like you think I'm not aware? <laughs> <laughs> that's the other thing, too. Like, if somebody, I feel like. Now I don't get it as much, but I feel like I don't have as many like fake friends yeah, or like meaningless friends with the amount of times people would like say stuff about your body, like to your face. Yeah, it is crazy. Insane. I know. Whether it was like, well, it was mostly rude, but I'd be like, oh, okay. We feel fine to say to that. To say that to me. <laughs> Literally. It's <laughs> okay. it insane. I know. It is weird. But anywho. Anyway, uh, should we take a little break? Sure. Okay. Okay, guys, it's no secret that Hannah and I have a sweet tooth, but we hate the guilt that we feel after we've binged on some of our favorite cookies, donuts, or other treats. So that's where dough comes in. Dough is an edible cookie dough company that also has donut holes and some delicious chocolate hazelnut spreads that you can eat and not feel so guilty afterwards. These treats are made with extra ingredients that are good for you, gives you extra energy, 
energy, makes you focus more, and the best part is that they are vegan and gluten-free, which is so amazing and something that you don't find all the time. And sometimes when you get vegan or gluten-free products, they taste vegan and gluten-free. But these dough cookie doughs and donut holes do not skimp out on the flavor and they are so delicious. We have tried the cookie dough raw and baked and it's good either way. And one of our favorite new donut holes are the collab donut holes with Chamberlain Coffee and it's the cinnamon sugar. And these are just so amazing. You want to eat them with your favorite cup of coffee in the morning. They're just so delicious. And the best part is that they come with some extra vitamins in there to, you know, get your day going and help you focus a little bit more. So if you want to try these vegan, gluten-free, and delicious products, you can go to Eat Dough, and that's spelled D-E-U-X dot com to place an order. And if you use the code WATERBOTTLE15, you can get an extra 15% off of whatever you order. That is Dough, spelled D-E-U-X, and use WATERBOTTLE15 for 15% off. We're back. It's almost like we never left. It's almost like we didn't. Um, well, should we get into part two of the sure. reunion? Okay. Boring. I know. Boring. It really was. I like, mean, what is the point of even, I don't know. It just felt like such a waste of time to rehash dumbs. Like, I know. It was just like. Eve, I did watch before I like left to come over here. I watched the after show too, and that was boring. I mean, I wrote down three little bullet points, and I mean, it was mainly just to like remind myself, but like and, it wasn't, there was nothing. Right. And like, I, the one thing I agree with Lala on is I like reflecting now, I do feel like her making that comment about people living in the comments and that not necessarily that they were just siding with Ariana, like even in that, but it, she did have like overall looking at this season, there was a lot of that. And it was kind of weird to like see such an inauthentic season where it was like, they got all this attention for, you know, Scandaval and they were getting flooded and super more famous than they were. And it, they really were trying to appease that. It felt like, the and it just, yeah, and it just like, well, and I think even producers yeah, too. It's like, to say. oh, see, Scan or Scandaval really like blew up. Let's mm -hmm. make a whole season about it. And it's like it just didn't. None of it worked. Well. But with Lala saying that, just well, don't act I, like you weren't a part of that, too, I know. because she was. I know. And <clears throat> Lala, the more and more she's talking, the worse and worse it's getting, too. Because yeah. it's like, so you are basically saying, you know, and it's like then Schwartz or somebody will be like, no, this... You know, it's our job, but this is our real life. But it's almost like Lala's not saying that. It's like she's yeah. saying, no, this is all. I'm willing to have a friendship with a terrible person because, because of this show. show which yeah. is just insane. And then it's like, it just, it's just it messing weird. with my head. Like, yeah. was any of this real? I know. it's, it's Seasons one through 11. It's more than breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, almost. it's like destroying, yeah, destroying every the wall. Whole, all the walls the whole yeah. house yeah, and it's gone because um schwartz i didn't listen to the whole interview on uh kristen Doty's podcast I, didn't I just listened to a little bit of it yeah but it actually like i thought that he was making some good points i right. liked what he was saying about the la la stuff and he was just like you know it's kind of a dangerous game to play with breaking right. that fourth wall because you start to self-produce a little bit. And that's what right. we said last time too. Like that, it feels like that's what Lala is doing. And to me, it feels like 
you know, yeah, you are aware that you're on a television show. Right. But like, it should be about your life. So you shouldn't make decisions based, based, on, based on I'm on this show. So I'm yeah. going to do this, especially if it's something so inauthentic. Like it's a little bit different where it might be like, all right, we need to move this storyline along. I'm right. going to bring like, this up right. quicker. Like that's it's different. A, right. It's like there has to be some of that. Yeah. But then to like keep saying it's your job and this is what we do and it's like what does that mean yeah. at this point and um <clears throat> oh shoot i forgot what i was gonna say like oh i was gonna say like we should if we're gonna break the fourth wall we should talk about rachel having her podcast yeah or tom going on howie mandel's podcast yeah. and like we should be able to talk about that stuff without being like this is our job and i guess i really don't know if there's a happy medium like i truly right. don't because i don't mind a f an occasional fourth wall break it right like it's like salacious and right like can we acknowledge that there there's is something they get paid for yeah. because i feel like when you know a character is like you don't have a job you don't have a business yes i do yeah that's but i can't say it yeah like that's what's been kind of annoying on summer house too not to like diverge here but with carl and Lindsay, a big thing Lindsay's like oh, i want you to get a job i want you to but it's like <laughs> they, job, they have a job I like know. they're making good five. money on this right that they only do for like a month two maybe mm -hmm. and then he's also an influencer just like you because of this reality right. show so it's just like stop like cut the crap like I this know. is your job right and it's like i yeah we have to be able to acknowledge that yeah and not have like weird chatter about businesses right and but then like when lala is fully twisting this all up yes. with like Katie being inauthentic allegedly it's like but it's she wouldn't bring the, like she said she wouldn't do that on camera right like she like everything with Ariana she didn't want that to be a storyline for right. the season because she didn't want that to be a big deal with their friendship thus it's not on the show like right. that makes sense it to does me. and I feel like I am liking how everyone is like like Lala is trying her hardest at this reunion to to cause drama and everybody's shutting it oh, down yeah. and it's like well um, when I was listening to Turtle Time last week they were saying how Lala basically has done nothing this whole season which right. we already said and then now the reunion she's like oh I've got to sing for my supper and yeah. I've really got to bring it to prove like I am valuable right. and I should be here which I don't think that Bravo at this point is going to just start cutting cast right. members like that but it is still a valid point because she if we're looking at who brought what this season Lala Lala did not bring anything to the table. I know. She actually was so out of character, but not out of character yeah. that it was like, what are we doing? Like she, I don't want to, you know, just blame her for everything, but it almost feels like she single-handedly <laughs> ruined well, the show. Well, in some ways, yeah. And like um, with uh, just with everything like that she's been Oh my God, I don't even know. I completely lost my train of thought. Well, she's been spewing. <laughs> right. uh, I'm sure it was something about how she's just spewing lies. <laughs> it must have been a lie that she told me. It just flew out of my mind. <laughs> but it, um, I know, it just, it's so strange. And like, as far as her, you know, like people not, like Aria, like her saying stuff too, like, Nobody cared about Ariana. Nobody cared about... It's like, what yeah. are you talking about? She's been a main player. No, she wasn't always screaming. I mean, she's been in fights. She's talked about her... Mental health her stuff mental in health, the past. Her mental health, her vagina. Yeah. And her, you know, re Obvious. intimate relationship yeah. with Tom yeah. and the struggle with that. And like her talking about several seasons she's brought that up and like her self-esteem and you know it's like i feel like it's she, such a bizarre thing to then hate on the person that you that you're relying on yeah to make your show good but then you're saying they bring job, nothing literally yeah i know i what felt are you talking about that was so 
just stupid it's to not say too. It's working. Because, <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's doing the opposite. And to say that like people didn't care about her in the past is just so like false. Like, I know. And people it's loved mean. her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like they thought that she was so cool. Like that right. was her thing. She was this like cool girl. Like right. she's not super like she's not problematic. problematic. Right. Yeah. Like I was she the standout of every season? I mean no. But, but then, then it's do like you have to be right. It's if you're competing with Jax who just yeah, is right? like coked out. <laughs> or even Stassi yeah, it's who like, always who is is in on something yeah who cannot you know it's like you aren't gonna be but i really feel like vanderpump has always been a ensemble oh for sure of people it's like it wouldn't be the same without tom and ariana this whole time yeah you know know. it's like if people didn't care about ariana then scandaball wouldn't have blown up the way it did well, so it's just a crazy thing to care say. about her i think at this point she wouldn't be on the show anymore right. exactly but it's, it was the fact that like lala didn't really bring anything this season but somehow this reunion like she's talked more than everybody combined i know That's she just keeps so, like, yapping her track and i'm trying to put herself into everything it's I like know. i don't need your opinion I know, and then she's this. sitting there shaking her leg Getting she's up, her, I know, sitting down. Like, what are you doing? Know, she's like, I'm she doesn't want to be there. On you. I know. Yeah, anyway. Um. So we talked about the Katie thing. That's how it like started. And then, oh, that was like kind of funny and also dumb how when they were randomly talking, somehow it got to Katie having self-esteem issues. And then Brock is like, well, that's from you. <laughs> and then Sheena's like, yeah, you weren't a good husband. It's like, Okay, that, there's on? some merit to that, but how did we get there? I know it was. This is such like. I it feels know. like we are, what are literally we we're po- poking bringing the bees. everything yeah. out from the closet. Everything that we possibly can throw out here that never was talked about I or know. didn't get enough attention. We're like, let's bring it in now. Because even on the after show, when Sheena goes on about how she felt like Ariana like wasn't publicly there for her as much as she could have been and goes in this huge, long soliloquy about the Bravo con situation and how Sheena was left on an Island by herself because she went to Tom's hotel room. And I'm just like, why are we talking about this? I know this is such old news that has been talked to death on like 50 podcasts. Mm -hmm. We don't need to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Stop. Like we're just bringing up all this stuff and it's so dumb, but I felt bad for Schwartz in that because he was even like, wait, what? And for Brock to bring it up? I know it it was str- I know they're just like coming out of the woodwork with whatever they can and it's really bizarre and not working. I know. And then the funny thing Oh, that's thing, weird, Sheena. You had no problem with the way he was treating Katie. Yeah. The, the whole fact time. you encouraged every it's like what? Yeah, the aftermath of so their bizarre. divorce. It's you so encouraged weird. him to do everything that Literally. he did. So um and then Lala says in like as a defense to her bringing up the stuff with Katie now on camera. She's like, I find these conversations to be interesting and productive. No, you don't. No, you're being no, you freaking don't. Like that is so, and I just couldn't in that moment. And they were kind of did like a weird back and forth thing of like, you know, where do you stand now? Yada, yada. And I'm just like, why is Katie friends with Lala? Like in this moment, I cannot see merit to this friendship. I'm no. sorry, I can't. And then you're always like, we're too much alike. We're too much alike. Why? What is being too much alike of a friend a bad thing? Yeah, like, like I bad... feel like we're really huh? alike and we've never had these kinds I'm of like problems. I'm scratching my head here. Like what's going on? Is that Maybe if it's we were because... alike and we didn't actually I like know. each other, we would have. Right, then maybe that would make yeah, but... sense. But isn't that like, I don't know. Yeah. It's weird. And then um, on the after show, they were talking about it too. And Katie's like, well, you know, I think sometimes you come into different times in your life and it's harder to get together. (laughs) And I get that she's doing the mom thing and 
you know, she says that she doesn't really want to do stuff that I do. But then when we don't hang out, she's like, I miss you, blah, blah, blah. And then Lala's like, you know, I don't want to go out to the club or the bar now that I have a bump. Flash forward to her at freaking <laughs> <laughs> all these festivals. Yeah, literally okay. like doing a Coachella. Yeah, all these freaking or not Lollapalooza. What was Stagecoach? Stagecoach. She's at all these things. I'm like, OK. And also, since when is the only thing that you can do with Katie is go, go to, to the, the club. club? Like, what is that Just supposed to mean? Just another bizarre dig. dig. Yeah. yeah. It's like, well, all she knows. I'm going. It's like, really, she wouldn't go to lunch with you? Yeah. Come on. I mean, she had that lame fake date with right. that one girl. So why wouldn't <laughs> she? Right. You know, they painted stuff together right. at her apartment. Why Literally. wouldn't they do that? Like, it's just silly. And like, obviously, Lala doesn't drink. And Katie knows that she doesn't need to do right. everything with Lala involving alcohol. Right. Like, that was just such a weak thing. Like, <sighs> you clearly don't want to hang out with her. Right. So anyway, that was just like dumb. Um, and then I don't know. Sheena's saying that like, oh my god, when she was the ultimate pick me. No, that was so, this was so, and it ugh. was like so what? Yeah, you're yeah. around a bunch of cheating scumbags, right? And like, they hit on you. Oh no! Uh, are what? Are we supposed to be shocked or are we no, supposed to like, be impressed? I know, and she was like dead serious. Yeah. So I was like, and nobody cares about the kiss. I forgot that this even happened. Like that's how much of a blip right. on the radar it was. We don't even need to and bring that up again. She basically said he assaulted her. I know. In and the then kind of like said, "Well, I don't so and weird. it's just I." I'm always, I mean, I think that I tend to have like a good memory about stuff like you absolutely do. Where like I could go in and give in-depth explanations right. about a scenario or like whatever. But when you do that and you're like, it happened here and I yeah, said I this like, and then did he did this. And don't you remember you were wearing this? Kind of seems like she wanted to remember. Yeah. Like she had that thing locked Like, up. don't you think that's kind of weird? Because then she was even like, James, it was on May 23rd. No, so that, like written in her behind diary. The bar. <laughs> yeah. And Sandoval. And it was that on time. this. Yeah. It's you, like, when you were fighting with Kristen, remember? What? And you were like, I'm like, is he coming on to me right now? And Sandoval. I mean, not, not that I believe him. He's like, no, I have haven't like what are you doing i know like and when he, she first brought that up his face was just like come on which and like and like how okay you've got all these people's significant others sitting there yeah why would you even why would you what is to the do point? that like it's so <laughs> it's oh, bizarre i know and like i know she was talking about the sand of all was before Ariana basically but it was like she brought when she brought that up in the season too it was like that like I would be irritated yeah, if somebody too. did that no matter yeah. how long ago it was or whatever it's like what what yeah it was so I don't it's know so it's, it's just like what is the point of bringing this up like Literally. are we supposed to just to be, be right like oh you're so hot everybody hits on you and I mean you know I think that any woman in a group of single married taken right. men like especially when there's drinks involved and you're together right. that much i think there's naturally a little bit of flirtation I know, you're all and, and like even thinking about this you're on a show all yeah. on a show together you're getting these bonds and like i don't think it's i think being a little flirty and right. like a little cheeky is different than being like fully hitting do you want to go to my hotel room right, right now exactly. let's f right like that is so <laughs> different that, yeah it's like okay she's like no everyone in the room everyone in the room it's like what what like what i just don't and then i mean i'm sure katie could say that i'm sure lala know, could say literally. that i'm sure ariana could say but like they don't because what Why? is the point it's so, she is such a pick me i'm sorry that is just i know that such came a, off really i don't gross how else do you want it to come off like right. that's just um i thought the katie max thing was funny how yeah. andy's like did you guys hook up again and she's like i don't, I don't remember. Know. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was just funny, I thought. <laughs> and then poor stupid Schwartz is like, we're the same. If you want to think that in your little twisted yeah, mind. The same when you're not married versus when yeah. you're married. I, know, I don't like, know. It like, doesn't feel what? the same. And I love how Katie finally was like, I mean, it could be taken as a revenge bang. <laughs> it's like, girl, I'm sorry, but you know Oops. it was. Like, and then to come back a second time, like, come on. That's that was funny. just funny. Um, Schwartz says that Ariana is the queen of the group back when they did the trip to... Yeah. Mm, was it Tahoe? Where was that? I can't remember. I think Tahoe I sounds think right. Lake Tahoe to see Lisa's um, wolf by Vanderpump. Um, and then, and then Ariana goes, "Hmm, no one else in the group has said that." And then Lala's just like, "Because mm, she definitely has said that." Like, and dang, then Sandoval definitely has didn't. definitely <laughs> said that too. <laughs> And this is where it's just like poor Ariana There's hasn't no watched idea. the season too. It's like, girl, everybody, well, not everybody, but like a lot of them have said this. Um, And then, oh, Andy brings up the Randall situation as a, you know, just like bringing up the, you said that people couldn't hang out with him, mm -hmm. comparing it to Ariana and Tom. And then Lala brings up the Andy. That's different because it's I have a kid different. with him and I was going through a custody battle, know. you know, with her hands. I know. A custody battle. Most talents. It's like you it's just like if you were in that situation, you would get it. But you aren't. So you no, don't. Nobody it's else like, in the world has ever gone through what Lala has. Like, She's I'm gone through the worst. I'm not even sorry. It's like. It is the same. You said, and you think that Tom didn't have ulterior motives to try and hang out with everybody? Like, just like Randall allegedly did. Right. And also, I, I mean, come on. I think Randall was never going to get on this show as a main cast member. So I don't really know what full art ulterior motive he would have unless it was just to try and get like information about Lala right, or, or to something. like irritate her or, yeah. or maybe here's the thing we watched a whole freaking season of Tom and Randall playing pickleball <laughs> together so maybe he still wanted to keep playing pickleball with Tom Schwartz <laughs> yeah maybe that's not so strange right it's like Maybe it I really mean, was just pickleball. pickleball. Like it literally could have been that. Like I just, it's so, I, can she even hear herself? Like no, how can, she can't. These She's situations like, are so similar. And it's, but it's weird because it's like on one hand, she tries to make everything like her situation when it benefits her. But then on the other end, if like a valid point is brought up about how they're the same, she's like, no, they're not because so it benefits her again. I know. And then when she, she's like, see, wouldn't you want to have somebody that's from the outside give you their opinion and what you should and shouldn't do? And it was like, shut up. I know. Uh, that's not what you were doing. And anyway. then she brings up the house thing again and moving on with a boyfriend. It's like, just stop. Just literally I stop. And I, I can't get, hear oh, you Lala. bring this up again. Right. And it's like, Lala, okay. So you didn't move on because you had a child. Yeah. You probably weren't out there dating. You're still not out there yeah. dating. It's like, why can't a single woman who has been cheated on for the past whatever months? And like, let's just date call a somebody. spade a spade here. Like Ariana is older than Lala. Right. She was with and not to be the one that's like, oh, the clock is ticking. But it's just like she spent all these years of her life with right. Tom. You know, she probably does want to just get out there and try to be in a I healthy know. relationship. Or like it just happened. Yeah. Is that all right? Lala? Because it felt good and right. right. Like, is that? That's fine. 
You can do that. It's just that doesn't negate all these other things. And it's right. silly. And then this is where she and Ariana kind of get into it. But Ariana is like so calm this whole time. And I literally like, want I, the name of her therapist so bad I because know. she is just like so that woman. Well that adjusted. is why people liked her because yeah. she is level headed. I don't know. I know. And that she's talking about, you know, just respect the boundaries that I put in place. No, That's all like, that I'm I never asking. didn't respect your boundaries. Yeah. And then Lala's like, I don't understand them. I just don't get it. You don't have to. I know. I know. You literally Ariana, don't have to. I know. I'm glad Ariana is getting like some good, like, I don't know, comebacks. So yeah. She's like, you don't have to understand them. Just respect yeah, them. Yeah. And because that is so true. Like, no, you don't have you to don't understand have why somebody to, has a, something a certain way. Yeah. You don't, she doesn't have to justify her boundaries or how she's feeling. And like, she doesn't have to make Lala feel good about right. why she's doing what she's doing. If Lala doesn't want to respect her boundary, it's like, okay, well, then that's going to change the dynamic of their relationship. Mm-hmm. But that's her choice. And Lala shouldn't be completely complaining about it it's it's so simple like either respect what i'm putting forth or don't and don't come and complain to me or talk to me about it like i think that was the thing with sheena and i do see how like at the beginning of this season it was super black and white and like the editors definitely painted it that way where they kept showing the clip of ariana being like you were either with me or against me, right. basically. But, like, I really do think with Sheena, if Sheena would have just said, hey, like, we do have a long-standing history. I just right. want to let you know. I I want to see if I can repair this right. or, you know, understand what's going on with him. Right. I'm not going to bring this to you. I think that would have been a completely different I know, situation. Instead of whining about nothing. Yeah. It's like, and with Lala, it's, the same but different where like she keeps bringing up that she doesn't get it it's not making sense right it doesn't have to make sense stop bringing it up to her even when katie and her were like going back and forth she's like i don't like what you're doing yeah i don't like how you're moving and it's like i hate what she says that that? me (laughs) yeah and then um you know she tries or she lala brings up the charlie thing and we see that clip from last season where that was actually... Or was it two seasons ago? I think it was two seasons yeah, ago. Yeah, I think it was two. Because wasn't she with Tom? Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, no, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just at the beginning of last season. I can't... It doesn't matter when it was. I still think it was... Because I don't think the Randall thing just... Well, I don't know. It it, matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But... And... um. Charlie was kind of talking a little crap about Lala and stuff. Who that, was which, mean to Charlie? Yeah, which, like, you know, we know, it was a valid point. I'm right. Sorry, it's you know. like, I'm, <laughs> yeah, because she was mean to Charlie. And so Charlie didn't like Lala. And I mean, also watching Ariana's reaction, like, I probably would do that same thing. I know. And it's, it's not like not Ariana. not saying anything. Right, and it's not like Ariana and Lala have fed a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. So it's like... But then they show the unseen footage where yeah, the two of them I do lo- talk about it. And Ariana's iconic line, just because it didn't air, you want to act like it didn't happen. I literally died I when she said that. And that. Lala was like... She couldn't... She was so she befuddled. Was, but, yeah, she, she really was, like, was befuddled. Oh, yeah. Because I didn't see it on film. Yes. Then it didn't happen. That seriously was like... That was... And it was <laughs> like so... Because it just kept... Like, Lala, that just proved that she doesn't care about anything unless it happened on mm-hmm. the show. She only cares about the show and making money. She does not care about any of these people. Right. And then um, when Ariana also is like, yeah, you're right. You're louder than everybody else. Yeah. So that means you're right. Which mm-hmm. again, that is Lala's mo. Every yep. freaking she just reunion, screams and yells, she does points that. her fingers, yes. and then nobody gets wants up, to argue. Gets in someone's yep. face. Yeah, that's exactly what she does. What are you supposed to do with that? And then throws you can't the get kid your point thing. across. Yep, and then it shuts it all down. I can't imagine like I mean I'm not like somebody that's like fights with people, but then being like 
being just having horrible behavior. Well, I have a kid. Yeah, so having that in your back I'm a pocket mother. all the time. So yeah, are you trying to take food out of my baby's mouth? <laughs> really? It's like what? Damn! <laughs> Why you gotta go there? I know. It's so like, intense. No one can say anything. No, like, it's like, and then it's like, yes, oh, that's you what I'm trying won. to do. Yeah, <laughs> it's like so dumb. Um, then we bring out Joe and Allie. And the I don't even know what to say about the Joe and Schwartz. Like that whole package of them was such a cluster. It was so. It didn't. It's. Oh, I think I texted you that. I'm like, why are we rehashing this? Yeah. It's so. We saw what happened. <laughs> like, we know I, why Katie doesn't care for Joe. Like we know, know. that. And it's like, why are we, why? And then I wanted to be like, why are we grilling Katie? I know. When Schwartz was actually, the you one, know, potentially, that yeah. was the one that was horrible. And like, I, like, what was this? Like, we mentioned Didn't last work. week too, like, I, Katie can be very harsh. She is somebody who definitely right. holds she, a grudge. Was she mean to Joe? Yes. Absolutely mean. There were things that she said that crossed the line and it wasn't nice at all. Right. And purposefully not nice. But it's like I she was hurt by things that Joe did. And I think that that whole thing could have just been handled a bit differently right. instead of Joe looking like the little innocent lamb mm-hmm. crying. And then it's like, well, what the heck is Katie supposed to even say? And right. she isn't listening or understanding her point of view no. anyway. And it was like it like I was. If you're, you have like that group of relation friends, it'd be like if they, if me and my husband broke up and one of them like started, it's yeah. like I, we're, me and them aren't like close, but we've known each other for years right. and that's literally what this, it's like, so, yeah, I'd be annoyed. Yeah, you'd be hurt. Or you like, totally would be. Right. Or even if you didn't even know who the person was and you found out that like shortly after your divorce was finalized, another girl is it's living like, in mm, his place. Yeah, it's like, you'd be you're like, like, gonna what? Like him? I know when this like friend adjacent person is like living with him and then they're also wishy-washy yeah. about what the heck's going on and, and the, it's the, like the whole it's so cringy like everything about them together it's awkward like them being like well no i never found you attractive while you were married oh well were we in a relationship i don't know I like know. it's just so it, why can't you just stop both of you turn it off it's I like know. they can't, they get together and, and they it's like, turn into the same morphed <laughs> it's up. It's insane. Swirling they around just each turn other. into these weird little characters. I know. And Tell they so. can't get out of and it. And then when she was crying and he put his, her, his hand on her shoulder and said, Joseph, are you okay? I know. I'm like, you're calling her Joseph. It's like he, can't, he can't stop. He know, cannot just, stop. And even so her like crazy. joking with him through it. It's like, you can't stop either. And I had her I can't remember if it was on that episode of Kristen's podcast or if it was a different thing that I Mm -hmm. heard but I had heard that there were some valid reasons as to why Schwartz kind of quote-unquote ended things with Joe and it seemed like it got a little intense or right. weird from Joe's end. And like Schwartz isn't going into that, which I respect. Like, right. That is one thing that I feel like I can give a little brownie point to Schwartz for. And even like with when he talks about Katie now, like I think he is careful to not like fully disrespect right. and it's like well i mean a little too little too late you know we did enough of that while you guys were together but even now with joe i feel like he's like i'm not even gonna go into th- right. whatever her transgression was but it makes me want to know what i know happened. it definitely seems like there's probably some like stalker yeah that's kind of what i got too vibe. it was just like too intense and he had to just fully cut like, it huh? out <laughs> yeah but that's what makes it even more strange seeing her out here and it's like the unsaid thing right and then to have her like still joking around with him I know, it feels and, so odd i know and just like and we didn't address sheena being a bully too and she goes you What'd she say? You, I only felt ganged up by you, Katie. Katie. It's yeah. like, 
I had a great time, except Katie, with Katie. was the evil one. Mm-hmm. Not Schwartz. Katie was the evil one. It's like... And like, even when Katie, when Katie was like, I watching this back, I felt bad for Joe. And yeah, she's like, like, what? what? I feel Am like I'm on Mars. That? I know. What? It, what? Like, and, and she kept I, interrupting Katie. Like, and I'm like, she wasn't listening to her explanation at all. Like, she just kept know, saying, like, so trying to have stupid. a bit. Like, and then when they just like, sh- were asking, um, well, I mean, they asked Katie, too, I guess, like, just asking somebody if they slept with somebody was just weird. How many times a week were you guys, like, yeah, doing that, it? Yeah, that got odd. And I I'm mean, like, I get where they we... were trying to be, right. like, Hello? validate yeah. that this was a relationship. But it was just, like, I don't really want to know how I often know, they were I didn't sleeping want to together. Either. I'm like, why are we talking about like, this? Honestly, what is Honestly, I happening? can't even picture that in and my mind. And the fact mind. that they were, like, sitting next to each yeah, other. Yeah, it was mm. so... So the whole thing was really was uncomfortable. Stupid. I didn't like it. Me either. And then um, the James and Allie portion was sweet. And Allie was just basically saying the same thing that she said before about not being ready for like marriage. And she definitely gave a burn where she's like, I mean, I don't necessarily have the <laughs> no, best example. <laughs> They're like, dang. But she's she was so I mean. right. I know. Like, was that really out of line? <laughs> Even with Sheena and um, Brock, like, I don't think that they're a great example of marriage. Nope. So, yeah. Um, but, like, I do get what she's saying. We're just being ready to have kids and, like, wanting them so badly. Mm-hmm. Like, and, you know. For California, she is still young. For Ohio, she's getting old. <laughs> Time's a ticket. Yeah, um, but I thought it was cute how James was like, I'd wait forever. I I'm know. Like, oh, I think that they I really do are I think good. they should get on the same page about their little, like, relationship right. timeline, like, though. Because James is like... like I think he would propose tomorrow. Right. And she's like, but we'd have a long engagement. Like, I wonder if there's something in her past that adds to the trepidation yeah like whether it's her parents or an old relationship or if she just there has to be still a little nervous with james and stuff but at the same time it's like are you gonna move in with somebody and get this house and not be serious you know like but i guess some people it's expensive out there and some people just do that and think nothing of it like that's a big thing for me it's like oh can i live in an apartment with three roommates or can i live with my boyfriend with my boyfriend i know i don't i know i don't i don't know it was a little did you like die when um they were talking about uh the little tiff that they had regarding his drinking and when she moved out and then (laughs) andy was like and you stayed at schwartz when they previewed that in the commercial i was like (gasps) (laughs) i was like oh my Gosh, and then when they're like, no, also. but that then was at so first funny, though, though, they didn't. They almost had me thinking that I know she there was did. like a pause. Yeah, they weren't supposed to say that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like <sighs> what comedic timing from Andy? That was that just was great so too. funny. Um, and then the ending part where it got kind of heated between James and Sandoval when they were talking about the Maya and the pet situation, and like I. Listen, I feel like it's totally valid that Ariana, the pets are hers. I think right. Tom has proven that he doesn't really care and is not right. the sole and he's not responsible. For these pets. <laughs> yeah. But then when James brought up and I like didn't even really think about this before, but when he brought up like the stuff with Hippie where he's like, you who did not care. Right. Well, it's because the show didn't want to highlight that. James maybe missed his dog. Like yeah. they didn't want to highlight that. So we, yeah, I'm had glad to he brush brought that past up. Yeah. And then Sandoval, Sandoval had to be like, well, I mean, I know things. What do you know? What do you know, Tom? I know. Come and on. it's like, why? Okay. If he supposedly has all these allegations and stuff, then say it. Right. You know, because why it's like. Why do you like, want the animal with him then? Right. And it's like, why are we glossing over that then, Sandoval? Yeah. You got all this information, then because say it. Un- because anything that he has is unfounded. Exactly. That's exactly why. And if it came from Rachel, then you definitely don't know what's real and what's not real. Mm-hmm. I did want to say the last thing I remembered from the after show was at one, I think it was just when they were talking about like Katie and. 
you know, how how she can be a little hot at times mm-hmm. with people. Um, Sandoval straight up calls her evil. Oh, he hates her. Yeah, I mean, it was so... He was, like, re- going in you know, and was being so awful. awful. And then Schwartz is like, well, I don't think she's evil. and But he says that she's one of the most vindictive people that I've ever met, which, like, I think that is harsh. But Katie definitely... She knows, like, when she sticks the knife in to twist it, for yeah. sure, you know? But, like, and I guess, I because I don't think that they were ever a very good match, like, I'm sure that their feuds as couples were pretty, like, cutthroat. But, like, I just feel like it's wild to be calling her freaking evil. Like, what are you... That is just insane. Well, and it's like because those boys can't handle when a woman like sticks up for her. No. Yeah, they can't at all. That was pretty much uh, all my thoughts. And then I didn't watch the preview for next. I didn't either. I kind of like to be surprised. I I know. And I'm just like. But (sighs) it seems like we do get some sort of. I don't want to say conversation, but something between Sandoval and Ariana because we know that she does break down and yeah, it's apparently see. I wonder how much of this alleged final clip is like. Is it? I know. Is it show Sandoval throwing this tantrum from there? Yeah. How long? Or is is it it? just that montage thing? Stuff that we saw. Is it going to be extra footage that we didn't see? Oh, a side note: I didn't watch the uncut version because I just. I don't know. I just didn't, but I will of last week's episode. But from uh, Turtle Time, they were saying that basically the things that were cut out were kind of like fun, funny bits. And it wasn't anything dramatic or scandalous, but it added to like the amusement of the episode. So that it was kind of annoying that they chose to edit it out, mm-hmm. which like I can't remember if I said this to you or if I just thought it. But, like, I I cannot do watching it live and then having to watch it again on Peacock. Like, especially for us recording. And even right. if we weren't, it's like, I sometimes it's, need a little bit in between I know, these like, episodes. I don't want to re- rewatch it Yeah, at sometimes this point. it's, it's just hard. And yeah. I almost wish that if they're going to do the uncut, unedited stuff, like I wish that they just had it like then fully just have the reunions be on Peacock. Right. Like just do it. Don't even air anything on freaking Bravo because I would rather just see the extra 10, 15 minutes that gets put on than to have to go back and watch the whole thing again. Like I just Mm -hmm. it's a lot. I know. So... Anyway, now I have to catch up on both of these unedited versions. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's just, I don't even know. It's just a lot. It's like they're sucking us in. And I get that they're trying to be like, come to Peacock. Okay, well, you already got me because I'm, right. <laughs> you already have me. Literally. Um, all right. Well, I guess one more week we'll have of this no. and... Better be good. <sighs> I know. I don't know how. I mean, I don't know. I feel like it can go any which way at this point with how it's going to wrap up. So I don't know. Um, I guess next week, hopefully we'll have those sandwiches and we'll be able to discuss. <laughs> right. I'm going to say it one more time. <laughs> Ariana and Katie, I know PR you're one of our sandwiches. like 12 followers <laughs> and listeners. Oh, yeah. Please send the sandwiches and then we'll Venmo you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so speaking of like the bathing suit conversation, my recommendation for this week is um, regarding some shaving products so I know I don't know when this came out but like Venus has like a little line of shave products and one's like a shave cream one is an exfoliator and one is like the aftercare kind of like gel thing and I had the gel I've had that for maybe about a month 
fine, whatever, moisturizing. But I recently purchased the exfoliant. Mm -hmm. And I will say, I will, if I like shave my bikini line and stuff, I'll use a, um, I've been using the Trader Joe's shave cream recently. But this exfoliant has helped a lot. And I don't know if it's like, what the actual ingredients are or if it's just like how fine the exfoliating right. beads are or whatever. But like I haven't had, knock on wood, redness <laughs> or any ingrowns. Mm-hmm. And I would really recommend it. I mean, and it's in a good sized bottle and you really only need a small amount. And right. like I, it is nice. Like, cause that's my biggest problem is that I'll get, the redness and the right. irritation and that drives me crazy and it doesn't matter what kind of moisturizer I use but I this has really been helpful so I would definitely nice. recommend it nice I know shaving is such a pain dude I mean we've talked about it I know <laughs> extensively Waxing, for years and years it's like it, it doesn't matter it's all a pain I know and it it just is so frustrating i know why can't we just be hairless why haven't we evolved in (laughs) that way yet i know isn't evolution real what's going on (laughs) Um, that's what they're telling us but i still got body hair (laughs) um i am gonna just recommend the new tv stand i got because if you want something that isn't a big old blob it's literally i mean we'll have the link on there but it's literally just two shelves and legs it is an architectural marvel (laughs) whoever patented that design and it's holding up a decent sized tv yeah i think that tv you have is a it's big it's definitely bigger than your last one for sure that was probably like a quarter but it's holding it up yeah it's got it mounted and then it's like you can move it tucks right into the corner there space saver i know so i'm loving it it's such a beaut (laughs) how was the price hannah i believe this one was 70 dollars. wow and a steal i know and a steal (laughs) now there were different versions on amazon that were like 130 i don't know the difference price fluctuations (laughs) i know that always gives me like (laughs) like why why is this $3 $3 cheaper. I know. What is the difference? I'm looking but... at like the dimensions, the know, like, like what materials. Exactly does this say? <laughs> I know. Yeah, but... I think it looks great. I love it. Yeah. Great purchase. Great recommendation. Thanks. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you know the drill. If you um, love us, please don't forget to give us a five-star rating. That would help us so, so much. And we'd be so appreciative. And we would never forget it if you have that extra time a nice little we comment or review yeah we'll shout you out remember there were other people back in the day that left comments and we shot it out recently there was a comment that was about our voices and i don't appreciate <laughs> that guys i mean you think we're not aware of our voices right? we are please stop <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even respond feel, to it because i, I can't I do it i feel like anytime women are talking people just think it's annoying so i know i know it's I, not too personal i feel like i know but it's just like i already am aware we're aware you know <laughs> we're not doing asmr over here come on <laughs> but a nice comment would be really appreciated it would actually probably like make our week if you gave us a nice one and a five star rating so please do that and um we'll see you next week Bye.